okay today we'll be talking about the bootstrap disassembling methods okay so if you remember from my previous video we we talked about the cross validation disassembling method right and we also talked about different different kinds of cross valid cross validation methods like validation set approach or lococv right uh, leave one out cross validation or k fold cross validation right now bootstrap is also another resampling method another kind of resampling method now this has a very wide usage not only in machine learning but also in other other areas of statistics okay now what the main idea is it's like just like we we have previously discussed like the core idea generated from the main issue where we do not have the proper test data set on which we can test our model because in if you see the if you see in the real world scenario right until and unless you are you are going through that process let's say if if we just talk about the stock market right so if you want to just predict a stock market you do not have the test data available readily available from the day one onwards right eventually when day will passing by you will see like how your model is performing over there right so so that's that's basically forming the basic concept behind these resampling methods where we use our training data itself to to form a test data and try to see how our model is performing over there how that mec values are we basically estimate the mec values over there right so it will help us to determine how our model will perform in in real world scenarios over there okay now bootstrap is similar kind of concept now as i said like it has a lot of other other usage as well now the main concept behind bootstrap is suppose i'll i'll just give you an example okay let's say we wanted to we want to determine determine the mean or average age okay average age of this world okay now this this is a very huge task right now one approach could be like if we just draw a sample sample from this whole world population okay and 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 try to determine the average age of them okay and then repeat that particular procedure let's say thousands time or or maybe there more 10000 or 20000 time now it can be shown statistically that those calculations by by drawing and sample and calculating the average and and taking the average of averages basically taking that each and every average value each and every sample average if we just take mean value of them okay it can be shown like it it's almost similar to the mean value of the age of this whole world okay so that means if i if i just draw a picture of it now okay so let let me draw a picture over here now if if you see it see it over here let's say n is our total world population over here and we are drawing sample of k size okay each and every time and this this things we are repeating let's say some finite amount of time over here okay and for each and every sample we have k pupil right and we'll be taking their taking their mean okay each and every time and if we just take all of this mean and take that mean or or some statistical value over there we can we can basically estimate the mean value of this whole population over here that's the idea behind a sampling over here right now in bootstrap also this is a one case of sampling over here now in bootstrap the sampling method is sampling sampling with replacement okay this is important part of bootstrap that means when we will be sampling this one right so suppose let's say our sample size is 1000 people okay so when when the first sample will draw from here right we will replace it that means we will give it back to that main source right main population then we will draw the sample again that means there is a high chance that a, a particular person will be coming up twice or more than twice in in a, in a in a particular or more than once i i should say more than once in in a particular it a particular sample over here right so that means this this particular approach of sampling is called bootstrap uh, bootstrap and and this this is basically sampling with replacement over here okay now bootstrap has a 
lot of usage in different parts of statistics like because by 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 this this approach right you can you can actually talk up derive lot of statistics about this population by by deriving the same statistic about the sample like that as i said one of this example is this mean or average we wanted to determine right or it could be like standard deviation or or similar something like that one right or it could be confidence interval or if i just talk about in terms of machine learning so it could be like in in if we, if we just derive a for a particular machine learning model different different models different different sample models over there and and just take a average of their outputs okay it may happen that we will make that model less less variance over there okay we'll see when this this particular approach will follow when we'll talk about a very famous bootstrap machine learning algorithm called bagging okay which is which is basically mainly used for classification purpose but can be used for regression models as well okay so bagging is nothing but a boost up aggregation model so we will see in next in future videos how how that part, that that particular stuff works okay so so if you, if i just if i just talk about machine learning if i just talk about the usage of boost bootstrap in machine learning okay so what we generally do so basically so if i if i just write that algorithm or let's say process of usage of machine learning it is a bootstrap in machine learning so the first thing we do is determine determine how many how many samples are needed right samples are needed needed so this will determine the the iteration this will basically determine the number of number of iteration iteration we need to perform okay we need to perform this is important because th this is actually basically the main idea behind a resampling methods right now the second approach the second thing is we need to choose the sample size right so this is this is important because each for for each and every for each and every sampling we need to determine how what will be the sampling size over here right so based on based on our need we need to determine that sample size over here now now if i just write for for each for each boot str p sample okay so this is this this has to be performed for each bootstrap sample okay so what what are the things we need to do so first thing is we need to draw the sample with replacement with with the chosen size like right? so draw draw the sample okay with replacement right with the chosen size that means replacement we'll see an example of that one as well with the chosen size okay this is important now now if i just talk about in terms of machine learning now okay so here is one one concept over here now whenever we draw a sample right let's say i my my, my input training data has let's say hundreds of records right and we are dr drawing a sample let's say 50 to 80 percent generally let's say 80 records we are drawing a sample over there okay with replacement now those rest 20 right because from 100 test res from the 100 test observations we are basically drawing 80 samples and the rest 20 are all called out of the bag out of bag samples okay so generally we fit the model for those 80 records and we test the model on on those 20 records over there okay so fit the model on on the sample on the data sample let's say data sample okay and at last at last then estimate the skill of the model or estimate that model or basically test that particular model so estimate or test the model on oob that is out of 
bag data okay or sample out of the bag data which is not part of the sample over here basically okay so then and we just then we repeat this process because this this is a single iteration over here right so that means if in number four calculate the mean of that and and repeat and repeat this process repeat this process okay on number of samples number of iterations for number of iterations depends on so number of iteration times okay and then then take either mean or or something based on your what we want to achieve from this output of this model right mean or other statistics okay i should write that one other statistics okay other statistics to make or to to determine the model 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 skill okay other men to determine determine the model skill i'll just write model skill because this is a very broad term over here okay so based on our need if we just want to know if the if, if i just want that model to determine the mean value then we will try to see the mean value over here otherwise we have a lot of other statistics like variance and other stuff okay we will do that so this is this is what if i just talk about very in simplistic term the bootstrap application in machine learning we do okay so I'll, I'll just make it as different color over here so that it, 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 it looks good now let us take an example okay so let, let me let me go down a bit over here okay so let let's say we have a data set of six six observations over here okay so our data set is something like below okay so let's say 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 Th let's say we have we have these six or observations over here okay so now according to this this process the first thing is how many samples we need so i'll just show you the single iteration over here okay and the same can be the same can be repeated for all the all the iterations over here so we'll start with the sample size okay so let's say our our sample size sample size is four over here okay so we will draw the sample now but we'll be drawing the sample with replacement over here okay so let's say if i just choose randomly the first first sample or the first data point from here okay so let's say our if i just try the sample over here okay our sample so if i if i just choose randomly over here let's say for first 0 0.5 came up okay so now if i when I, I just choose this particular data point as as my sample right so I'll, I'll give it back to this data set again okay now again I'll choose let's say this time it came 0 0.4 again I am giving back to the data set okay again I'll choose let's say 0 0.5 because because 0 0.5 is already present in the data set right because I'm giving it back right so that's why 0 0.5 can come up twice over here okay similarly if I just take another another sample over here so this could be our our sample over here right so what will be my oob over here my oob will be so if i just remove this 5.5 5 .5, 0.4 and 0.2 that means 0 0.1 0 0.3 and and 0 0.6 will be my oob that means which are not part of of, of the sample over here right so let, it, let, let us write it down over here 0 0.2 and Point six over here this so this is my oob over here right let me let me go down a bit now we can we can we can do some statistics with the sample either we can do some statistics or if i just talk about machine learning scenario we'll fit our model on this on this sample right so we'll just we'll just talk about in terms of our machine learning scenario only so our 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 model will be so our training data will be trained that model 
on on this sample right so our training data set will be this one our test data set will be our test data set now will be our oob right out of the bag models right out of the bag samples over here right so our our model will be so our model will be the train fit fitting will be fitting this this particular train right data set because this is what we always do in in terms of supervised machine learning right and then we will be calculating uh, or you'll be evaluating or calculating the statistics when i talk about statistics right so basically it, it's i'm talking about different statistical measurement right mean or something some similar to stuff right so we'll evaluate our model evaluate our model based based on this this particular model and and the test data over here right so our the model we created model we we created over here on the test data okay so this 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 will be our overall approach if i just talk about a, a real world scenario over here right and now the same approach we can we can just repeat for different repetitions over here okay and then for each and every statistics right so if i just give this one as a statistics one okay that means it is the first iteration right so for all the iterations we will get different different statistics value right so that means if i just take them as as well so for second iteration we'll get something like statistics 2 right and for for third iteration we'll get something like statistics 3 right so similarly will for nth iteration we'll be getting something like statistics in over here right so then if i if i just take a mean value of them or whatever like it depends on what what we are actually performing okay as the output of that model so we will get the final statistics over there right so we'll get the if i just go down a bit over here so our final statistics statistics over here right with with something some values over here uh, on those on those values we will we'll just take it right so so this will give you give give us basically an idea or estimate about the overall statistics of this of this particular data set if you see in this whole process we never worked with the full data set at all okay we we draw the sample with replacement and then we perform the statistics on those sample over there and then we are from those statistics we're basically trying to estimate the statistics of that particular data set okay so this is the whole idea behind the bootstrap okay so in in next video we will talk about that bootstrap aggregation or bagging algorithm the the foundation of it, it of that particular algorithm is just this this concept over here okay and bootstrap aggregation is used in lot of places in machine learning okay see you in next video